Hi, this is John again, um, number two in the series of videos. Uh, today, something a bit more involved, um, something I like to do with every service, um, although I actually ran out of time last time, um, is to adjust the valve clearances or tap hits. Um, they're under the rocker cover. First thing to do is to get the sound deadening mat off of this 200 TDI engine. In my case, I'm not sure about everyone else's, but in my case, the cover is actually just snagged behind the, the mount for the dipstick just to hold it in place. So I thought I'd just loosen that off a bit. I should then be able to get it off. Okay. Undo the filler cap. And it should just lift away. Now what this is showing you now is the rock cover and the air intake. We're just interested in this side. So the next step is just to remove the cover with these three bolts. So I'll just go and dig out a relevant size socket. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll pop the oil cover back on so we don't lose that and now I've got my socket and quickly whiz these off on the 200 TDI 8mm will do it be able to run those out by hand now. And when the three of them are out, one, two, three, we should be able to ah, there we go. Crack the lid, which just leaves us with the pipe work to uh, free off. Okay. So what I've had to do is loosen off this Jubilee clip. This is to breathe the hose up from the crankcase. And the mounting for the separator, which separates um, oil from the fumes. Oil draining back down, cleaner air going to, well in my case, the air intake manifold, but normally to the turbo. Um, so I've undone the mount for this, so this should pull off with a bit of jiggling. There we go, don't lose the bolt. And then the hose, can come up as well. I might have to pull it the other way. Hose can come off as well eventually. Right, hose is pulled off. So now we can lift away the rock cover. Make sure we don't lose those bolts. And this exposes the valves. Well rather the rockers which operate the valves. Um, rockers also known as tappets because they make a tapping noise and that's what we're going to be adjusting next now this is a four cylinder engine so each cylinder has um, two tappets operating the two valves for um, intake and exhaust and basically we're going to work through them one at a time um, number one two three four five six seven and eight and basically what we'll be doing is starting off and adjusting number one well, number eight is fully open. Fully open means push right down because that opens the valve. Um, you always do them adding up to nine. One and eight, two and seven, three and, <laughs> three and six, and so on. <coughs> That's called the rule of nine. Um, right, so to actually adjust them, you need to be able to turn the engine over, um, make, um, set the relevant valve is up and the relevant valve is down. So to turn the engine, so we can adjust the various valves, we're going to need to be able to turn the crankshaft pulley bolt. And for this, I've got rather a big ring spanner, nicely cranked at the end. Basically any socket or spanner that will fit will do. The longer the better because that's going to give you more leverage. So if I feed this down to the pulley bolt and then start turning clockwise, 
we should be able to see the valves opening and closing. Number eight is the one on the extreme right, the back of the engine near the bulkhead. So if I carry on turning, it's starting to go down. Keep going until it's as low as it's going to go. Nearly there. And it sort of pauses before it's ready to come back up. So I can jiggle it backwards and forwards to get it at its lowest about there and that means number one valve should be ready to adjust okay we've got a nice close-up on rocker number one what we've got is an adjustment screw here and a lock nut so what you do holding the screw in position you loosen the lock nut okay now what this means is you can then adjust either way and if you see that clearance is opening and closing for a 200 TDI engine you need to check the clearance when the engine's cold um, the older two and a quarter diesel and petrols you could do hot or cold and the clearance of, on them I think was ten thousandths of an inch on the 200 TDI it's 0.2 mil I, which I think is 9,000 but you have to check that out so with a feeler gauge you put the gauge in there now that's way too loose you shouldn't be able to do this what you're looking for is a snug fit so you can still slide it that's still too loose still slide it that's too tight but like that no so it's, it's snug it will slide but it's sort of it's a jerking slide and when you think you've got it leave the gauge in there holding the screw still because that's your adjustment just tighten the lock nut back up so that nothing will move it will want the adjustment to turn so you have to be quite careful to hold that and then give another check in that case there we go see it's a snug well perhaps still a little too tight actually it's just it's a bit of a pain Let's try that too loose now again loosen the lock nut check again there we go a sort of snug sliding fit now it's important to get this right um, the first time I ever did a car um, I ended up with quite a few of the clearances too big I, I did it so that the, the feeler gauge would fit in relatively easily and then when I put the rocker cover on started the engine it chuffed and wheezed and wouldn't run um, the best way to get it right is to get someone to show you what it actually feels like that snug fit but that's what you're looking for so it can move but it's reasonably tight then it's just a case of working through all the other rockers one at a time turning the engine bit by bit and as I said when one goes down add the correct number to it to make up to nine and you can adjust that rocker um, the correct order I'll jot down in the um, notes at the bottom um, but the other thing you can do is just write down the number of each one you've adjusted just to make sure that, that you don't miss any and that's the adjustment so I'll carry on and do the other seven and then we'll take it from there 
Okay, now all later done. Most important, do not forget to take off your socket or spanner, whatever you are using, from the crankshaft pulley. If you start your engine with that on, you've got big trouble. Right, so we can now fit the uh, rocker cover back on. Uh, the gasket should be good for two or three fittings, maybe more, but uh, I tend to use them for a couple before I change them. Just jiggling into position, making sure the pipes connect back up. There we go. So I'll just finger tight all these just for a second. And from this one. tighten those up okay all finished off the rocker covers back on the the sound mats back on I've taken all the tools off the wings and so on double check I haven't left any um, kicking around the engine especially in the area of the pulleys um, so we're ready to give it a test fire um, obviously the engine is cold so it's I mean being a 200 TDI they're pretty lumpy when they're cold but um, I'm listening out for the tap hit so let's just give them a start So that's another job done. Um, this is a lot more involved than just adjusting a handbrake, but it's not difficult. Um, as I said, it's best if you can actually feel what the feeler gauge should feel like. There's nothing to substitute for actually feeling it. Um, but basically you're looking for a snug fit. Just work your way through in the order that's listed below um, and you should be good to go. As long as you're not stupidly over tightening them or leaving them stupidly loose, you're not going to do any harm. It may just not run as well as it could until you get it right. So give it a try. And I hope to see you again with the next video.